Uh, greetings, Aries, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're doing well, and uh, let's jump right in and see what the cards have for you. And I see that the Wheel of Fortune is coming. A change is on the horizon. Uh, you might have felt like you were at the bottom of the wheel, and now you're turning, and everything is moving. Luck is on your side. Quickness. You might be traveling or moving to a new home, changing residence. And uh, the Empress will help you with that. That sense of growth, abundance, beauty, of productivity, the ability to give and receive love. And that's what's moving you forward. And you're um, beautiful and your environment is full of energy. And now you're taking some time at the foundation to evaluate, to rest, to renew, maybe to pray or get in touch with your higher powers, uh, to uh, your ancestors, just get some information from your deepest foundation um, about this change that's coming and it's going to bring you a lot of wealth and abundance and beauty and uh, growth. Uh, and you're going to look to the higher power to draw that in as this change is coming in your favor. Because you're going to be victorious in the recent uh, past, excuse me, you're the four of uh, wands. You are celebrating this victory, uh, this joining. Maybe you have an announcement of something that is very special because you have this a wheel that you're moving, you're changing. Maybe you're moving to a new home or coming to a finish line with a project and you're celebrating that and you're going to be very abundant and um, people are going to see your growth and how uh, dazzling you are. And you're very loving, too, as well, because uh, you're using your intelligence, some new idea, some information you're getting, and it's coming in quick. And you're having to uh, study and explore and maybe even a spy and get evidence on something and really use your wits to think through this, because that's at the crown. And uh, the uh, Ten of Wands is saying, uh, what's coming right now is a sense of a recognition, Aries, that you're under an enormous burden. You're shouldering a big responsibility. You're having a lot of duties that you have to attend to. And you might be uh, doing too much of the work. And you need to get keep on keeping on and persevere uh, through this time. But you're almost there. The 10 is saying you're almost to completion, whatever this has been. And you put a lot of work. Look at all that weaving of these energies together. But there are two wands standing firm out of all of this burden. And you're going to take those two wands, those two passions, and go for it. And you're um, seeing the situation as one of love, of new love, of self-love, of understanding, of compassion and empathy uh, toward this change, bringing love to this new uh, movement in your life is coming fast with a lot of momentum and uh, in your environment there is the truth coming clarity reality you're thinking through something intellectually or with your mind and intelligence and you're getting the truth on this and your hope and fear is a judgment uh, that there's a wake-up call and uh, you have the 10 here of the ten of um, um, for the wheel of fortune, but the ten here for judgment. So something is coming. Your hope and your fear is uh, that you will have this trumpet coming out of the clouds and announcing uh, something uh, that has to change. A revelation. You're seeing something with truth and clarity within your environment, and you're cutting through. Uh, whatever was in the past was uh, not good for you. Was it a low vibrating energy? And you are um, having to make a change. You're having to really look and evaluate yourself, your behavior, uh, what it is that you really love. And that is coming. And uh, this recognition, it's almost like you're rising up from the dead, Aries, to a whole new life. You see uh, these figures coming up out of the tomb. And you're coming to a whole new a life, a whole new person, a whole new situation. You're closing out a whole old cycle. 
gift with revelation to know and hear the truth. And uh, the advice is to uh, be the emperor, uh, this Jupiter, to sit on the throne um, of uh, truth and get this higher power, uh, uh, maybe an authority that you value, because this is a hierophant. You see, this, um, you um, want to look into what it is uh, that you truly value, what is truly uh, real for you, your belief systems. And that could be the wake-up call. There's a judgment coming, and you're waking up to something about what it is that is really your belief system, what you uh, truly want to commit to. And that's what I have for you. Um, and so let's get some clarity, because there's a lot going on here uh, for you, Aries. And why is this wheel of fortune as you see the question? That's as we come into this question, there's change and it's coming in quick. And it's going to bring a whole new life ahead for you. You're moving towards some new destiny. And the devil is there because you're having the wheel of fortune is saying, I'm changing. I'm moving away from these low vibrating energies, a toxic relationship, a bad habit or an addiction or something that is just entrapping me in a low vibrating energy of just materialism and worrying too much about uh, just all of these um, indulgences uh, or just uh Fear of letting go and moving on and facing what is really real for you and allowing things to keep you entrapped. But the wheel is going to turn and you've got this um, empress <clears throat> and she is victorious. You're having that growth, that pro productivity, that love, that abundance, um, that nurturing capacity. Uh, to heal and you're going to be victorious over the devil Aries because and your recent um, foundation what is uh, at the root of this is uh, this need to rest and meditate and maybe while you're meditating you'll see uh, what are these self-sabotaging thoughts I have about my situation that keep me entrapped, keep me from letting that wheel turn and move me on uh, toward my true destiny. And you're letting go of interference from others at the foundation. And you're thinking through this on your own and getting out of these negative thoughts. And uh, you are going to have to uh, celebrate uh, getting out of this a nightmare you're in. In the past, you came to celebrate some situation, a recognition, a coming to a, a milestone in your life, a life transition. And um, that was causing a lot of nightmare in the recent past. Uh, but you're going to uh, move for that, move forward away from that, and to wake up to whatever is frightening you, this keeping you. Um, um, in these nightmares with insomnia and you have the truth coming because uh, there was something about what this um, page of swords saw the information that you got from the downloads from your higher power uh, something about generosity reciprocity equal give and take in this relationship and you're having to look at that and cut through to the truth of that is this balance? Is this generous? Is this equal? Is this where I want to uh, keep giving, uh, keep growing? Or do I want to uh, take this somewhere else, my uh, generosity? And there is a celebration again coming. So in the recent past, you were celebrating and coming together with others, uh, creating a home, uh, creating uh, this finish line uh, that you joined with others and wanted to share that energy with. And then love came because you're uh, dealing with this from a very mature emotional perspective, this new love. And uh, this ace of, is the ace of swords is twice in your environment. So that is powerful emphasis, um, and it's resonating that something in your environment, you have to cut through the truth of it, or someone in your environment is seeing the truth. 
and you were um, very deeply connected to this new love because it really resonates with your true values and your true sense of generosity and being able to listen and help others. And the judgment is coming because of something to do with uh, wealth. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But there's a judgment call being made based on wealth, based on your ability to make money, to be the breadwinner, to manage money, to be a problem solver around this issue. And it's a wake-up call about uh, money, power uh, over your resources. And that will lead with your true values, with talking to someone you really uh, value their opinion, doing things by the book, um, finding what you really want to co be committed to. And this is saying, I want to really be committed to my own independence, to my own wealth. And that could be the wake-up call, Aries, that you're waking up to the fact that you have a lot of independent wealth and abundance, and you're seeing someone in the environment or what the interference or the effect of the environment on you is truth, a wake-up call to this truth you're seeing. And it has to do about this new love and your ability to really nurture that love and to understand and be very em empathic about it. And there was going to be a celebration. You have two of these four of wands. So there's a lot of celebration in the past um, and in the future, right now. And you're victorious over the devil. And you're going to have this wheel of fortune take you to your true destiny, which is away from the devil and towards success and victory. And that's what I have for my Aries, a very passionate and potent reading for you. And you're going to be independent. And that is a wake-up call of something to do with your wealth, and your abundance, and your ability to manage money, and you're waking up to the truth of being committed to your independent destiny. And it's going to be a blessing in disguise. Whatever this is, is coming, this wake-up call. It's going to be a blessing in disguise because it's going to bring in a truth, a revelation of truth, a clarity. And you're going to know... Uh, it, when uh, the number 41, that it's time to go, your bags are packed, your passport is ready, you're moving out, the door is open for a whole new beginning, and you've got the wheel of fortune coming, and victory, and a blessing in disguise. So time to go is a blessing in disguise, because you're ready for a transformation, a completion of one situation, and a confirmation that it's time to exit whatever this is. And that's what I have for you, Aries. And you know I love you, and we're in this interconnected field of learning and growing and knowing that when it's time for this wake-up call, that we can face it and see that it's going to um, be a, a blessing in disguise to leave. It's time to go, to uh, exit. And that's what I have for you. And so it is. And if you like the way I read, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. That's how I get the message out to those who need it. And see you next time. Bye-bye, Aries.